Hello, it's Cried here with a breakdown for the headpieces in Armored Core 6. I figured we should start with a relatively easier parts category for the breakdowns. There are a total of 22 different headpieces right now in Armored Core 6, and I am here to help you find the optimal headpiece for your build. Optimizing an AC can be really difficult because there are so many pieces to consider, and often changing one piece can have an effect on another which can require you to make multiple changes at a time for the optimal setup. However, I do find that the headpiece tends to be one of the final decisions to optimizing an AC, rather than something you choose first. To begin, you will realize that I have placed scan distance and scan duration to the right of weight and energy load. This is because I'm going to treat these two stats as far less important. These two stats are more relevant in PvE for the first time you play through the game. They are also still useful in PvP, especially in group matches. But I believe their degree of importance isn't nearly as high as some of the other stats. Feel free to give these stats more weight if scanning does matter more for you. The rest of the head slot stats are all defensive stats. Armor points, defense, attitude stability, and system recovery, with system recovery being a unique stat to the head slot. What system recovery does is it detects abnormalities and help the AC recover. This sounds like a stat to be stressed on, especially because it is only available on your headpiece. However, I'm here to tell you that this stat actually does nothing and is probably currently bugged. Reading the description, you are probably thinking that system recovery decreases the amount of time you are stunned after you take enough impact damage to cover your entire attitude stability bar. If it is indeed so, system recovery would be great for reducing our stun. However, this is not the case. As you can see here, testing headpieces with system recovery of 50, 100, and 154. You will notice that the stun time all ends up being roughly 1.48 seconds. Furthermore, watching the clips, you can probably also tell it doesn't affect the duration of vulnerability. I'm talking about the duration when your armored core stability bar is red. So, I read the description of system recovery again and figured it might have something to do with statuses as those show up as status abnormalities. Unfortunately, I tried system recovery against an enemy that burns in the arena and there is absolutely no difference in the recovery as you can see on screen. Therefore, I am forced to conclude that system recovery, at least at the moment, makes no discernible difference. And since there is no way to know just how much it should actually matter, I am going to focus on the three other defensive stats. If system recovery gets a fix, I will make a pinned comment or a new video depending on how much it actually matters. But for now, pieces like the VE44B, which has a very high system recovery, receives a hefty penalty because the system recovery is most definitely still factored into the cost of the piece. For my spreadsheet, I have highlighted the column red, but I still have it displayed for reference or when it is fixed. For considering the cost of our head, we are going to take a look at the following scenarios. When you are not limited by weight and energy load to fill your headpiece. When you have limited weight left but still seemingly unlimited energy. When you have unlimited weight and limited energy load. And finally, when you're limited on both weight and energy load. Obviously, unlimited here just means you have enough weight or energy for any headpiece. First. I am going to show you a few graphs so you can take a look at some of the top pieces of gear sorted by AP, Total Defense, and Attitude Stability, which is basically your stagger bar. Currently, we will be ignoring their cost. If we record the top 7 performing headpieces, these are what we get. You probably realize that some headpieces always make the top 7, like the Vero and the Ephemera. I chose top 7 to try and show another point. You can see that top 7 for defenses are relatively close in numbers. However, for something like the AP, 
the Basio is already 10.6% higher than the record in rank 2. Comparing the mind beta in rank 1 to HAL826 in rank 7 for stability also shows a 23% difference. So some stats have a bigger variance than others. To make things easier to compare and get an overall defense score, I gave each stat a multiplier to standardize them. These would be the score each piece is getting for the particular stat. Feel free to change the formula slightly if you want to weigh one stat even higher or lower, but the general score is going to be roughly the same as mine. Now, if we sort by score from highest to lowest, here is the list. If you've looked at the top 7 list, Vero being in rank 1 is probably not a huge surprise. This is simply just the most excellent defensive piece, especially if we ignore system recovery. Honestly, at 107, its system recovery isn't even low. However, Vero does use quite a bit of energy. In fact, it is the third costliest headpiece in terms of energy cost. If you care about fashion, rank 2 and 3, Basio and Ephemera are also great choices. The Basio is particularly outstanding on the AP, while the Ephemera has higher attitude stability. Depending on the rest of your defensive stats, you can choose one over the other for the stat they perform better in. For example, if you value stability a lot higher, you can pick the Ephemera over the Basho. But overall, the Veril just performs well in defensive stats, ranking high in all three categories. In fact, it even has the highest total defense. The next scenario is limited weight but unlimited energy. This scenario is actually very easily solvable thanks to the Veril. Let's sort by weight from lightest to heaviest you will see that the barrel is actually relatively light. If you have limited weight but no worries on your energy load, you basically start looking from the barrel because anything heavier than the barrel doesn't perform better than the barrel anyway. The only alternatives you need to look at are the pieces lighter than the barrel. If we check out the score of the lighter head pieces, they're obviously all lower in score. In fact, you see a bunch of these head pieces perform even worse than a Nash Reiher 44E. You basically don't even need to consider these. The Albus weight might exactly match your needs, but you're most likely going for the Nash Reiher 44E if you're pressed to make weight or go lighter. And remember, being lighter also makes you faster and your boosts stronger by default. In fact, if we take a look at another metric, which is score to weight ratio, with the weight divided by 20, in order to standardize it for the energy load cost for later, we see that the 44E and Tianqiang are the only two headpieces that perform better than the Vero in terms of score density to weight. From a balancing perspective though, it makes sense for gear to be less stat dense as the cost grows higher, so it does not mean that these lightweight pieces are better. In fact, the Tianqiang is a garbage piece that you should stay away from whenever possible because you only have 4 slots to raise your defensive capabilities and the Tianqiang basically offers you half a headpiece. Despite scoring high on score to weight ratio, it is only because of its super low weight. The defensive capabilities this piece offers are simply pathetic and there really isn't a good reason to go light enough that you want a Tianqiang. The next scenario is one where you have unlimited weight but limited amounts of energy load. So you're trying to find a piece with low energy load. This time we're sorting by energy load from lowest to highest. If you remember, the Vero has a high energy cost relative to other headpieces, so this is basically not an option if you're limited on energy load. The piece that truly stands out when you want to lower your energy cost on your headpiece is the Basho, which scores second on total score with the third lowest energy cost. There is one other piece I want to point out, which is the VP44D. While this does cost more than the Basho, this piece is a strong general piece in terms of overall defensive score, with a much higher stability. This piece will come up again in part 4. If you have enough energy load, this is also an alternative option 
especially if we do consider the Basio's weakness of having a low system recovery. Because system recovery is bugged at the moment, the Basio is a very strong piece, with the highest score to energy load ratio, actually. Finally comes the scenario where you're both limited in weight and energy load. For this, I'm going to employ a total score divided by total cost column. There is something to keep in mind though. Pieces like the Basio still score high here even though it is very costly in weight in terms of the headpiece. What you probably want for this category is something more balanced like the VP44D or the HS5000 appetizer, where both the weight and energy load are relatively lower. However, AC building is very circumstantial and you might also take fashion into account. So, I've highlighted a few that I think are balanced cost pieces. Once again, I've already mentioned this, but the VP44Z is a decent balanced cost piece. You can work your weight down from this piece if you need to use less energy or weight and tune your requirements. For example, if you have more spare weight but less spare energy cost, the HC3000 Wrecker might fit you better than the VP44Z. Maybe you need to lower both your weight and energy cost even more, so you end up choosing the HD-011 Milanzer. One thing to keep in mind though, is that many of the top pieces in this category currently have low system recovery. This makes sense as we are judging overall defensive stats versus the cost. If we don't take into account system recovery, obviously we're going to skew the top choices to having lower system recovery. The Tianqiang is still the lowest cost piece you can get your hands on, but at the moment, if you find yourself needing to run the Tianqiang to fill your headpiece, I highly suggest getting more load to equip a heavier but much better piece, because it doesn't cost much to drastically increase your defensive capabilities. Alright, before we do the summary, I also have the AP, Defense, and Stability versus weight or energy load columns in my spreadsheet. If you're trying to maximize one single stat versus a particular cost, these might help you out. But I've given you the general rule for selection already. Now, let's do a quick summary for the optimal headpieces. Currently, system recovery is basically useless and is probably bugged as I've shown you. With that in mind, if you don't have a particular constraint, on your weight and energy load, the best piece you can slot now is the HD-033M Vero. Even if we take into account system recovery when fixed, this piece is still powerful, as it has 107 system recovery, unlike something like the Basio, whose ranking will definitely drop. Pieces that are currently pushed out of the competition, like the Ephemera and VE-44B, will become much better and even meta depending on how effective system recovery actually is. But let's get back to reality for now. If you're limited on your weight, but don't really care about the energy cost, you still work your weight down from the Varel, because the Varel is actually fairly light. If the Varel is still too heavy, the next good option for you is likely the Nash Dryer 44E. As for your option when you can afford a headpiece with any weight, but you are limited on your energy, the best pick currently is the AHJ-124 Basho. It is very cheap on the energy load, but a pattern I've noticed with low energy load headpieces is that they tend to have low system recovery. This is the list that will change most greatly if system recovery actually turns out to be good when it isn't bugged. As the first option for energy load that has over 100 system recovery, is the mind better. We will see in the future. Finally, if you are limited in both weight and energy cost, the first helm you should check is the VP44D. Actually, this is a good balanced cost piece in general if you need a starting point for building an AC and just want a placeholder for a headpiece first. If you cannot afford the VP44D, I suggest moving on to the HD-011 Milanzer and if that doesn't work either, the HS5000 Appetizer works great for its cost. This section is the most technical one, 
as it really depends on how much weight and energy cost you have to spare. I suggest going back in the video for more detailed options. Like and subscribe. If you want to support my work, please consider buying my fantasy novel or donating to my Patreon down below. With a book purchase, you can also request a topic from me, Krite, signing out.